I am really in love with this question because whenever I see a 3, 4, 5 right triangle, I know something interesting is coming and I become very much excited. Now, see, we can make a rectangle inside this right triangle like this, right? But we can also make a rectangle like this and also like this and so on. We can have infinite such rectangles, right? But the only condition is that only one vertex of this rectangle must lie on the hypotenuse and the opposite vertex must lie at this point. Now, you being a genius mathematician have been called here to find the area of the largest possible rectangle inside this 3, 4, 5 right triangle. So, can you solve it? Okay, so in order to solve it, we will be using a bit of algebra, a bit of calculus, and a pinch of coordinate geometry. First, we will make the x-axis and y-axis, like this, and put the origin of this graph at this vertex of the triangle. So, the equation of this line will be y equals 3 over 4x. Now, let this vertex of the rectangle be located at a distance x from origin. Now, this is 4, so therefore this will be 4 minus x, right? Also, the width of this rectangle will be 3 over 4 times x. Therefore, the area of this rectangle will be 4 minus x times 3 over 4x. And our job is to find the maximum value of this area, or a of x. It will become 3x minus 3 over 4x squared. Great. Now here comes the magic. This is a parabola of the form y equals a x squared plus b x plus c. When the value of a is less than zero, the curve looks like this, and this is the point where the value of this function is maximum. And you will be happy to know that the formula for the value of x at this maximum is simply minus b over 2a. Can you comment on how we got this formula? For our case, the value of b is 3, and the value of a is minus 3 by 4, and thus x will be minus 3 over 2 times, minus 3 by 4, or x equals 2. Now, you have already observed that in order to achieve the maximum area of the rectangle, you go halfway down this line. Now, if x equals 2, then a, or the maximum area we get, will be just substitute x here, and it will be 3, and that's it. Don't forget to put the square units. Isn't this super cool? So good.